Uh, the gentleman from uh, uh, Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Reverend Sharpton, your current MSNBC co-worker, Joe Scarborough, is my former congressman. And when Joe Scarborough served in the Congress, he had quite a bit to say about your contribution to the national discussion. It was in the 106th Congress that Joe Scarborough filed a House Concurrent Resolution 270 entitled Condemning the Racist and Anti-Semitic Views of the Reverend Al Sharpton. Uh, Mr. Scarborough's resolution began by saying, whereas the Reverend Al Sharpton has referred to members of the Jewish faith as blood-sucking Jews and Jew bastards. So my question to you is, does Mr. Scarborough's assertion that you said these things, is that true or did you not say those things? <laughs> they are patently untrue. Uh, I never said that. Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe, well, maybe, can I finish gonna, my answer? No, uh, it's actually my time, but you will be able well, to. Well, I thought you questions. raised the question. So the next question can I relates answer to Mr. Scarborough's the second comment. He says, where is the Reverend? Since, since aspersions were cast on the witness, the witness will be permitted Absolutely. to. Absolutely. No, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Aspersions weren't cast. I asked I mean, the witness. You, you asked, was it true that I said that? I, I can't reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. The witness, you will have your time. The witness will be permitted to answer. You asked me, was that true? And the answer is no, that was not true. And uh, as you know, Mr. Scarborough and I work very closely together. He comes to National Action Network conventions. I think he's a great guy, and we do each other's shows often. Mr. Scarborough also the said, excuse me, the uh, gentleman who is um, who the timekeeper will add 30 seconds to Mr. Uh, Gates's time. Joe Scarborough then wrote, whereas the Reverend Al Sharpton has referred to members of the Jewish faith as white interlopers and diamond merchants. Have you ever referred to members of the Jewish faith as white interlopers or diamond merchants? No, sir. I, I referred to one in Harlem, an individual who I didn't even know was Jewish, as an interloper, and said I should never have referred to his race. I said that I was against those that were using apartheid diamonds. <clears throat> and when I did a funeral in Crown Heights in 91, because we were boycotting Oppenheimer and those that were selling diamonds from apartheid South Africa. Thank in you, the Mr. same I'm sermon, I'm trying time. to now finish fin my answer, to, sir. No, Am I allowed to finish no, my I'm answer? I'm allowed to no, the, my the, time. The, You the, asked a question, and I'm answering it. Yeah, I got a few more. Yeah. Well, and I have a few more answers. I can't wait. Well, apparently you do because you don't want me to answer. No, I, I want to so know. So since you raised it, let me finish. And I, I, I also right talked to about people snatching pocketbooks by talking that are in the. I'm not, not filibustering. I'm everyone asking your question. Everyone will Chairman, suspend, please. Mr. Chairman, a parliamentary everyone, inquiry. Everyone will suspend. Mr. Scarborough continued. Whereas the Reverend Al Sharpton led a protest in the Crown Heights neighborhood and marched next to a protester with a sign that read. The white man is the devil. Did you march next to a sign that said? I have no recollection of that. I've marched in uh, many things where there were signs that I did or did not agree with. Scarborough and, continues. And I, uh, and I would Sharpton's say that if I was aware answer. of that, I would have said I that I would not to want have the to have that question sign. The witness and not just have him continue to well, then you shouldn't ask me a question if you don't want an well, answer. I want to know if you said them. You could say yes or no. You said no, them. I w uh, well, I cannot answer Mr. Chairman on yes or no. When he's asking me whether or not. The witness is obviously disrupting the committee. I, I, the General witness, control. first of all, this has nothing to do with policing. Uh, since, right he wants to, since he wants to make the subject Joe Scarborough and I, yeah. then let me answer it. I, it had nothing to, last I know, Joe Scarborough nor I are members of the police department or have anything what to do with excessive force. But I'm loving to engage this if he lets me finish. What is outrageous is a matter of opinion. The gentleman controls the time. Mr. Chairman, I ask that it be restored. The gentleman controls the time. Oh, so you're not going to restore my time? No. Joe Scarborough continues. The Reverend Al Sharpton's fierce demagoguery incited violence, riots, and murder in the Crown Heights section of Brooklyn. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? As a matter of fact, the New York State uh, uh, did a extensive study on the Crown Heights riots. said I was not even there until after there was death of uh, Yanko Roosevelt. I was not even called by the family until the day after. Thank you, Mr. We Mr. had nothing to do. And when I came Mr. to Sharpton, Crown Heights, you ever I led the first nonviolent march there. Are, are you really? All right, fine. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sharpton, have you ever referred to African Americans who disagree with you as cocktail sip Negroes? I have. Florida may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Have you ever referred to African Americans who disagree with you as yellow and then the N-word? I don't know that I've, I've referred to people as, as names. I don't know if it's because I, they disagree with me, but I have uh, said 
things about blacks and whites. I'm glad you made it clear that I don't only attack whites. Thank you for that. Have you ever said that, the, have you ever uh, referred to African Americans who disagree with you as Negro militants? I didn't know that was a derogatory statement. I didn't say it was, just ask if you used it. I don't know, I don't recall. Have you ever said, if the Jews want to get it on, tell them to pin their yarmulkes back and come over to my house? No, there was a man named Mordecai Levy who had been charged with some terrorist acts who threatened to march on me and several other activists in New Jersey, and he said he was going to come deal with my hairstyle. And I'm referring to his hairstyle. I said, for him to pin it and come on. I was not talking that. about all Jews. Well, you no. said those words. No, I said about okay. Mordecai Levy. Have you said, I'm in hell already, I'm in Israel? Yeah, because I had been threatened that uh, if I okay, came over to I'm deal with question. a... question. Do you no, have well, words, first of all, I believe, in I, I believe that you can deal with the decorum of the Congress, but you cannot disrespect a witness. You cannot answer a question, ask a question, and tell the witness he can't answer the witness question. Witness is permitted to answer a question. You, you're, you're welcome to answer him. How about well, I then let me answer, one? sir. Okay. Let me answer, because I'm enjoying this. I, 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 I think that you have... You're at a, you're a committee about break. policing. Don't, don't get upset. Calm down. Calm down. You're yelling. You're yelling. You're yelling. Calm down. I think that I'm trying trying to Thanks. answer your last question. The gentleman will be permitted. To, the time of the gentleman has expired. The witness may answer the question. What about offing the pigs? Answer that one. The witness may answer the question. The time of the gentleman has expired. The witness may answer the question. The a question that he raised, what I was saying was clearly that I have disagreed with blacks and whites. I've used language graphically sometimes to do so, some of which I've grown beyond, but none of which uh, shows anything other than I am an equal opportunity attacker, and I'm glad that Joe Scarborough and I both are equal opportunity attackers that now work together. Upon consideration, I will withdraw my previous objection. The document will be entered into the record. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Gates. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I was reviewing your prior answer, Reverend Sharpton. You are cited in a Washington Examiner piece July 30th, 2019, is having said, if the Jews want to get it on, tell them to pin their yarmulkes back and come over to my house. And in your response to my question, you said you were just <clears throat> referring to one person. So here is my very limited question for you, Reverend. Were you misquoted in this story when you say the Jews and them, referring to a plural group of people rather than one person you seem to have a grievance with? What? <clears throat> Am I allowed to answer? My name is Sharpton, not Lewandowski. I will answer the question if I'm allowed. Please. We know your name, sir. Go ahead and answer. And, and you then know that I'm going to answer. I was referring to an incident and a threat to come to my home by Mordecai Levy and to the homes of, I believe, Reverend Daughtry and others. Uh, how the examiner, I think you said, or someone else wrote, I'm not looking at it, so I do not know whether they misquoted me or not. I do know what I said and who I was referring to. Well, did you say them? I just said that I'm not looking at the statement. I do not. I just you're, talking about, you're talking about a situation that happened in 1991. If I said them, the, or those, I don't know. I know the incident, and I know what I was referring to, and a man threatening to come to our home who had that kind of criminal uh, record. And I had two young children, thank you, I think under five years old. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the answer. Again, I'm, I'm not Lewandowski. Let me no, talk. I, I'll, I talk. I'll talk. Time. I'll talk. So, I'll testify before I, this committee. You know, so, so is it your belief that... If I said them or not, would that help or hurt excessive force of policing? Well, I think it's pretty significant when someone wants to come and preach to us... Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary inquiry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I ain't having no march. I believe in fighting. Well, fight then. Ain't nobody holding you. I'll off the man. We'll off him. Plenty of crackers walking around here tonight. Did you say those words? I do not recall uh, saying I will not march. I think for the last 40 years I've marched. Uh, I think that you're referring to, and I'm not sure, but I think you're referring to when I was dealing with some people that said that they don't want to march and that they're going to off people. And I told them there are plenty of people walking around that they called the name. They're not offing anybody because I felt that they were just 
trying to disrupt our asking you, people to march. So in the context of I was, I was quoting, as I said, I was quoting, as I said, the reference made about I don't want to march. And astrology and mathematics before Socrates and them Greek homos ever got around to it. Did you say that, Mr. Sharpton? I talked about African history and I talked about how uh, we had dealt with astrology as well as mathematics and philosophy and religion in Africa. But you, you referred to people as Greek homos, didn't you? I do not recall how I referred to uh, anyone. Uh, and you'd tough. have to cite, you'd have you to cite. Do you think that your bigoted statements in 1991 are excusable just because they were in 1991? I think that any statement that I've made that was wrong, I have clearly said that we should not make bigoted statements, including me. I also think that to have distort, I think that also to Reverend? distort. Have you, have you, you made can, you Will can the gentleman ask, yield? You can ask all the questions the you yield? want, but I'm going to answer the question. Will the gentleman I yield? Think, when you call Greek homos, when you talk about white crackers, those are bigoted no, statements. I, I, I think I made it clear that I was quoting what somebody said. No, Yelling not, and getting said. upset is beneath your office. Thank you should you calm down. Friend. Time is the gentleman's. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I would note these are highly relevant to the issues that we're facing. Reverend Sharpton has come before the House Judiciary Committee as, me, a the clock should be running. as a purported expert Why on policing. Running? And yet his bigoted statements undermine the bipartisan work we should be doing to ensure that all citizens are able to come together and have safe communities. Point uh, of order, Mr. Now, Chairman. How is this your state main? Is point of order. Point of order. Although the gentleman's comments may be obnoxious, Although they may I object be, to that. Point of order. That is an although, improper characterization. Although the gentleman's of the comments of the may be characterized as whatever oh. you want to characterize them as. I, I, the I have a point of order that your words be taken down and Oh, woe is, is me. Gentlemen, I pick a fight and now I need wide, help. Under the rules, the gentleman has wide latitude both on the question of germanus and on the uh, language that he uses. And uh, unfortunately, under the rules, I cannot overrule him. The gentleman will proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You sold your life story, Mr. Sharpton, to your own charity. How much money did your charity pay you for the rights to tell your story? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman, this is an outrage, and the question is whether you can impugn the motives and or insult or badger the witness or cost or, or characterize his presence Ejection. at this table. The gentlelady was not recognized. The gentleman will proceed. How much money did your charity pay you, you personally, for the right to tell your life story? <clears throat> My charity owed a certain amount of money to me and asked could they use that money to have the right to sell any rights to my life, be it documentary, one man uh, uh, play, or other items that they have already began reaping dividends. They would have paid, had to pay me the same sum anyway because it was owed to me. Was that some so over the half a answer, million dollars? can I finish? Was it over half a million dollars? Can I finish? Was whatever the sum was, half a the sum, whatever the sum. Gave you to tell your life story? Because I think the, most the, people would see the that. Charity as fraud. again, a fraud the charity again owed me a certain amount of money but that they would have had to pay an anyway. And they were, I agreed to allow them. Or less than 500000 that his charity paid him for his life story. Gentlemen's time. Story. I allowed fired. them to use gentlemen's those funds Mr. Chairman, I to have my right. more than a half a million bucks? Gentlemen will suspend. His time has expired.